Waddesdon is one of Poulon's grandest designs, with rockwork features spread out across this large site. We know that Poulon started work here in 1877, as this is the date of the first recorded payment to the firm. Their early work centered around the house. Poulon built this natural looking scene using stone and spoil being dug out from the hill which Baron Ferdinand was having leveled and lowered. They carefully placed the huge rocks to look like natural layers. This Pullum Grotto is believed at one time to have housed some of Baron's exotic animals. A large quantity of Pullum rockwork is to be found in the private water garden near the dairy. This is the site of the original Waddesdon rock garden. The Baron's visitors would have approached the rock garden via a rustic building at the top of steps. Sadly, the rock garden was largely abandoned after the Second World War, a story common to many Pullum sites. It was only cleared in the 1990s when the main features were found to be intact, showing the quality of the work. This magnificent arch over the pass surrounding the water garden is considered one of the best examples of Pullum work still standing. As we come to this large rock outcrop, we see an entranceway appearing. Going through, we find an inner chamber divided into two, possibly another animal shelter. The pass continues right round the pool, passing a large rocky outcrop containing shells and this pretty cascade. This part of the rock garden is largely made up of artificial pulamite rock. Here we find another rock work built specifically to house Baron Ferdinand's North African goats. Waddesdon Manor is a great example of the breadth of Pullum's creations, with rock work designed to be both practical and ornamental. In some places it disguises and adorns functional spaces, in others it simply provides beautiful rock features meant to please and delight. Thank you.